everybody, it's Mickey, and Thanksgiving is this Thursday, so this is our crazy busy week. So this is my second grocery haul for Thanksgiving. This contains most of my perishables. Um, I probably do have one more small little trip to the grocery store just for those little odds and ends and things that I've already forgotten. <laughs> like, you know, like soda and chips and things like that for the kids because they're going to be home for a few days. So to start over here, I went ahead and I got myself a yellow cake mix. I want to make a carrot cake for Thanksgiving and I have already begun to adjust my expectations for myself. I had wanted to make it from scratch, but I think I'm going to use a yellow cake mix as its base and add all the ingredients to that and tweak it a little bit and see how it comes out. I'll probably be sharing that with you um, sometime today because I want to make it early and stick it in the freezer so that all I have to do the day before Thanksgiving is frost it. So we'll be working with this later on today. So here I have my craisins. These are a big ingredient um, in my cornbread stuffing. I have, of course, some mini marshmallows for our sweet potatoes. I have back here some confectioner's sugar for the frosting for the carrot cake. Here I have some sweetened coconut also for the carrot cake. I have um, two bunches of parsley. I have a bunch of celery for the um, cornbread stuffing and for our veggie tray. I have some English cucumbers also for the veggie tray. Here I have some herbs for my turkey. And underneath here I have some dill for, of course, the turkey soup that comes after Thanksgiving. So you gotta remember what you wanna make with your leftovers after Turkey Day. I have some cheese here for um, the twice baked potato casserole that I shared in my last Thanksgiving video. I have some crushed pineapple, some sour cream, a whole bunch of carrots for snacking and um, for roasting my turkey and for um, the turkey soup that comes after, a whole bunch of butter. I have some cream cheese. I have just a, a pound of sausage for my cornbread stuffing. I have some green bell peppers for our veggie tray. I have a bunch of white onions. I have a whole bunch of sweet potatoes here. I have some red peppers for our veggie tray as well. I have some lemons for our drinking water and I have a whole bunch of white potatoes for that twice baked potato casserole. So this is my little perishable grocery haul just a few days before Thanksgiving. I also got my turkey today and maybe I'll take you down into our other refrigerator and show you my little Tommy. So I came down into the basement and our little tiny refrigerator down here to show you my Tommy the turkey. Um, he's about I think 19 and a half pounds. He's a butterball fresh turkey not frozen and we got him this year at Costco. I never got my turkey at Costco before so Anytime we have ever had a butterball for Thanksgiving, it has always just been the best turkey. So, so this is our little Tommy the turkey. He's gonna be resting here until his big day on Thursday. So this is what I came up with for my Thanksgiving table this year. If you guys had been following along, you may recall I had said I wanted to do a mostly white tablescape this year. I wanted to try to utilize my collection of these little white houses that I've been collecting over the years. I think all of them I found at Target and I just love them. I think they're so sweet. So this is what I came up with. It's mostly white. I have my um, brown napkins here and I have a little bit of color with my lantern. This is the lantern that I got at the beginning of fall at Big Lots and I just added um, a big checkered bow to. I think it looks really great here in the middle of the table. 
So for the base for my table this year, I just have this really pretty ivory colored tablecloth. And I got this tablecloth on Amazon. I actually get most of my table linens from Amazon because I think they have really great prices and a great selection. These napkins, these brown chocolate napkins are also from Amazon and I'll leave some links down below um, to some of the things that I have purchased in the past, but they do, they have the greatest prices there on Amazon. So in the middle here, I just have a burlap table runner that I think I found at Walmart a couple years ago. I have several of these because sometimes, depending on how many we have for the holidays, I will put another table kind of into my um, living room and I like to dress them all the same. So here in the middle, I have my lantern sitting on this um, charger that I found at the Target dollar spot. It has a really pretty little leaf in there. It's a wooden charger. I wish I would have been able to find more of these because I really think that they would be a pretty um, plate charger for the table. Here I also have these really cute little white turkeys with a little bit of gold on them. I thought these were so pretty. I only ever found two of them and I think they were so cute at the Target dollar spot for it was only $3, so I thought it was a really great purchase. Also along with these little white pumpkins. So I'm also including my little pilgrims. Now I have had my little pilgrims on my Thanksgiving table since my kids were really, really itty bitty. I found these in a little gift shop years ago and I put them out every year. I just think they're cute. My kids kind of think they're scary because I don't really have a face, but you know, <laughs> what can you do? So on the table runner, I also just have a sprinkling of some fall leaves and really muted colors. I have some wooden words that I found at the Target dollar spot as well. They came in a set um, of some wooden leaves and a little wreath. So I just have those sprinkled around. I also have some of these pine cone ornaments that I bought last year, I think, at Target. These are great because they're plastic. I don't have to worry about anything breaking. And then I have two of these white houses that I got this year at the Target dollar spot. The table settings this year are set in these gold plate chargers that I found at Michael's a few years back. I think I paid all of a dollar fifty a piece for them. I think they're really cute. They're gold and have a little bit of sparkle to them. And then the dishes that I'm using this year are pretty special to me at least. This was the first complete set of dishes that I collected when I was a young bride and they're from Falls Craft and I believe they are the Heritage Collection. I could be wrong because it's been a few years now but we're using those this year because I thought they matched really well with my mostly white tablescape. This is a, a chocolate linen napkin that I got from Amazon and on each place setting I have this really pretty pumpkin appetizer plate that I found at the Target dollar spot. I think they came in a set of two and they really match so well with the little turkeys and the pumpkins because they each have a little touch of gold on them. So that is what my table looks like this year. I'm going to get started doing my list of baking. The first thing on the list is to make my cornbread for my cornbread stuffing. Well, I, it's really dressing because I don't stuff my turkey. I make it in a separate dish, so I think that's when you call it dressing. Anyway, <laughs> so I follow very closely the recipe that is on the back of the Quaker a cornmeal container. The only difference is instead of skim milk, I put in um, buttermilk. And I'm just going to double this recipe. I'm going to make it on a large cookie sheet. This is my well-worn, well-seasoned cookie sheet. And I let it sit out for a couple days. After it's baked, I cut it in squares and I just let it sit out for a couple days to get ready to be made into dressing on Thanksgiving Day. So I'm going to get started to make my two batches of my cornbread and I will show you what it looks like along the way. So 
So once the cornbread is baked, I just take a little butter knife like this and I just cut it into cubes. And I set them out to dry over a couple days and I just turn them over a couple times with a spatula so they get um, a little stale all around and then I use them for my cornbread dressing on Thanksgiving Day. All right, so the next thing I was going to bake is this to die for carrot cake, which this recipe sounded just awesome. However, I was going to be a little kinder to myself and see if I can find a recipe that used a box cake mix. So I went over to get one of my favorite cookbooks is called The Cake Doctor, at least for cakes anyway, and she has the best recipes I have ever tried. Some of our favorite cakes that we make throughout the year are recipes of this Anne Byrne, B-Y-R-N. So I went in and she has a recipe that's called Pineapple Carrot Cake with Cinnamon Cream Cheese Frosting. So what I thought I would do is I would take her cake recipe um, and follow it pretty much as closely as I can and just add a couple things to my recipe that she doesn't have here and then I was going ahead going to go ahead and make my regular cream cheese frosting and I already have my my box cake mix so I'm going to start now and put this together now I'm not going to frost the cake until Wednesday, which is the day before Thanksgiving. So once it's all baked and cooled, I'm going to put it in the freezer so I can pull it out on Wednesday to finish it. So the carrot cakes are out of the oven. I'm gonna let them sit here on the rack and cool for a little while. Um, we're gonna get ready to head a couple hours south, start picking up kids for the Thanksgiving break. So um, when I get home, I'm gonna wrap these up and stick them in the freezer. And while I'm waiting for my hubby to get home, I'm going to at least start making the batter for my oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. So. Um, if you don't see them in this video, you'll see them in the next, and I'm just going to show you real quickly what I usually take with me in the car to keep myself busy for the ride. So just in the nick of time, I got all my baking done, and we are just about to leave to go down south to pick up my daughter uh, to bring her home for the Thanksgiving holiday, and I wanted to show you what I bring with me in the car. My husband always drives. So I have a couple hours to kind of sit and relax and I work on my planner. So this is that little planner bag that I got from 31 Gifts. I'm still in love with this thing. It is the perfect companion for any road trip. I will link um, the video I did on this somewhere either down below or up above. But I have all my essentials that I need to plan. And what I do is this holds my uh, planning notebook and my um, Erin Condren life planner and I have my um, my traveler's notebook because I would like to take some time and plan out um, the Christmas holiday with gift giving and just how I keep everything um, organized and I'm going to share my Traveler's Notebook with you guys in another video, probably next week or so. And then I always carry with me a little bag of the stickers that I want to use. One of my favorite shops is Sweet Kawaii Designs and I always use them for my weekly spreads and sometimes for my monthly spreads. So this is what I'm taking with me in the car to get a little bit ahead in my planning. So thank you so much for watching.
Thanksgiving today, and I will be seeing all of you after Thanksgiving with just a bunch of new recipes for the holidays. So before I go, I just wanted to take a couple minutes to tell you how grateful I am for all of you. To me, the best part about YouTube is this community that we have built around the channel. I really love the way that we share tips and ideas and just better ways to do things down in the comments. And I really think that if we all had the opportunity to be neighbors, that we would be the best of friends. So with that being said, I wish for all of you just the most wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope that you're spending it with all the people that you love the most. So until I see you in that next video, I hope that you love the life that you have. Happy Thanksgiving, and I will see you again soon. Bye.